Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and quick review of this Ovis Mini PCs 4 GB of RAM and 64 GB of ROM comes with an Intel Celeron N3350 processor up to 2.4 GHz speed. It has built-in Windows 10 and it has also built-in 2.4 and 5 GHz dual Wi-Fi Bluetooth 4.0 and so on, so it has pretty much everything what we need. What's maybe important for you to know, it comes with Windows 10 and it's not officially upgradable to Windows 11 here in the software, but it's definitely possible to upgrade it to Windows 11. You just have to download Windows 11 from the Microsoft site and then put it on a USB stick and set it up from there. There are many people already running Windows 11 on such a PC. So here we have it. Here's the description: 4 gigabytes, 64 gigabytes, and the model type is AK3V. So here's what we get in the box: user manual. Then the PC looks really nice, solid, even uh, really beautiful. I would say definitely one of the most beautiful mini PCs I've ever seen so far. We have all the adapters. We can attach up to three monitors. We have two times HDMI, we have the VGA, we have even LAN, we have audio input, output, we have power, we have two times USB 2.0 and two times USB 3.0, even a TF card reader, which is really rare and also looks like we have plenty of openings to cool it nicely. And we get also this mounting and installation material to mount it on a TV. The large solid power adapter which works even from 110 to 240 volts and comes with a full size HDMI cable. If you want to upgrade this PC with a little bit of a larger hard disk or so, you have to remove the screw here on the right side and then push this switch to the right side and then we can open it and you can see there's plenty of space to add hard disk drives, M2 drives or 2.4 inch drives. So let's turn it on and install Windows from here. You can see we get this nice blue light. You hear a little bit of ventilation, not much, and we can see it already starts to booting up Windows. So I'm going to install, set it up, and then test it for you. In the meantime, I have done all the updates on this Windows system. You can see whenever I do nothing, it goes into sleep. So we have this nice red LED. When we click, you can see it goes into blue, starts working again really nice i mean the design that's something which i really love definitely the most beautiful mini pc i've ever seen so here again in the settings you can see that we are on version 20 h2 which is the latest build really good so we are nicely protected also with antivirus and everything and here after doing all the updates and installing a lot of software even after downloading and installing the open office we can see we have 27.9 gigabytes used and 29.1 gigabytes free so still plenty of space for your data and everything and here in the system information we can see we have exactly the CPU which was listed and we have the RAM and the ROM as listed. And as already told you I have installed the open office here to make some light office work and you can see how fast this is starting so absolutely no problem to do a little bit of office work here on this computer. Of course, with the 4 GB of RAM, we have some limitations regarding parallel working. I have Chrome here opened with five different tabs and you can see, I mean, as long as we focus just on one, it's working really good. We can scroll up and down fast and easy, but when we switch tasks, sometimes it has to reload, as you can see. And with the built-in Apollo Lake GPU, we have even some decent 3D capabilities as you can see that we can move around here in the 3D Google Maps. I've also been running a quick performance test where this configuration is being compared to similar configurations with same CPU and it says it's performing way above expectations that's really good result and even a little bit of 3d gaming is possible as you can see is this action shoot of course not very high 
frame rates, but it's definitely possible to do something. Yeah, it's a little bit difficult behind the camera, but you can see it actually works pretty smooth. This is actually a very good test for an Apollo Lake. I have seen many Apollo Lake uh, implementations which have been struggling with this game here. So for this PC, it seems that it's absolutely no problem. And I guess you heard it a little bit while I was doing the 3D gaming. We heard a little bit, but very little of the fan. That's the maximum which I've ever heard. During 99% of the time, you won't hear anything from this PC, absolutely silent. You can definitely do some browsing, email, and even some light office work, or use it as a good streaming device. I would say it's a really nice, good, very beautiful implementation of an Apollo Lake. If this is what you want, uh, I can definitely give you a full recommendation on that, and I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description, so you can check it out and order it right from the if you like it and I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, thanks for watching, see you next time.